Was there was there an incident? No, it's there was a, never an incident. That's just Nothing a, ever happened there. I mean, maybe just there some, has. Just a, just a fictional type of... A fictional uh, something I just thought of, yeah. Something that, yeah, that might scenario. And, it, yeah, it was, it was a combination of... Something I also liked about it was putting something that should be in the water into an architectural setting, so taking it out of the water and putting it into onto land, which yes, is that's kind an of an odd, interesting... odd juxtaposition. Yeah, it was a juxtaposition of, of things. And that was the, what your reason for doing that, just aesthetic, that you liked it? Yeah, that was purely uh -huh. aesthetic. It was uh -huh. purely an interest of mine, just entertaining myself, basically, in that regard. And with all these different um, kind of influences, what is your... Uh, background ed educationally was you mean just did I, mean, I go to you, school did you study other things besides art or oh yeah I did I studied uh, horticulture I studied quite a few other things but um, I do the only one things I got a degree in were in art hmm. but I did do philosophy psychology you know many many other things um, a little bit of uh, computer science yeah oh yeah I was going to ask that with that first the email thing. Oh, well, yeah, no, that's just more, um, it's not, that had nothing to do with computer not. science, that's just the way our society is now. Because everyone has email, we all use it. I mean, that's just, that's like the telephone was, you know, the telephone yeah, was 25 the way, years ago. Yeah, the way ago. these things become ubiquitous. It is ubiquitous in our society. We can't get away from it now. In fact, I love email compared to using the telephone. I find it, I find the documents to be much more solid than phone messages. Sure, for as documentation. Are you one of those, I am, I am a little bit awkward, but uh, rather send a text message than call someone. You mean what I prefer sending is, a text message? Yeah. Yeah, yeah in fact, I'm, uh, I'm the chair of Humanities and Fine Arts at uh, West LA College and one of my, on my message machine, in fact, my phone doesn't even work. It doesn't connect to anything, but when it did used to, I said uh, on my message, please email me at so and forth because I won't I won't return your phone call, but I will return an email. <laughs> and and that was because what I what I felt like an email would do was um, if someone was committed into asking something and was willing to put that time into typing it out, then their question was more sincere rather than just a message, a phone message, which is far more simple and mm. frivolous in a way. Yeah. So I was asking them to make a commitment, and if they were going to make a commitment, then I would make a commitment back. Well, okay, that's fascinating, all of that. And then, and then there's that. these photographs, the photograph pieces, which are the pet spaces. And this was a whole body of work, which you've probably seen the catalog, right, for those things, which is all about, it began... Most of those bodies of work, most, actually most of the information that I am influenced by is information that comes to me. I don't go out searching for things. So these were all based on catalogs like Victoria's Secret and uh, Frederick Sahal. Oh, Hollywood. things like that just come to you, sure. And they I come in the mail. Sure. Yeah, what you mean. Right, everyone gets junk mail. So I took that junk mail and made it into stuff. And the same with the spam. That's where spam came from. It's stuff that comes to you that you don't have to go searching for. And this is out of the uh, um, terrorist stuff, is just simply out of the newspaper. So you don't really, I, I try to find things that I really don't have to look for. I don't even try to find things. Find Things find me. And that's really what the goal well, is, is, that I don't well, work. That's lucky. <laughs> I mean, the, uh, uh, the alleged suspect, this catalog here, which was all about the wigs and the alleged suspects. This is all about the junk mail that you would get about missing children. And so I just collected them and then see took those that information and used posters it. Posters up? Yeah, you, they used to be on mail places. cartons, yeah. but they used to get flyers in the mail. So these are the alleged suspect or the person who kidnapped the kid, and this is the disguise I made that they would go and use in order to kidnap a child. Does that make sense? That's fascinating. It it's really ingenious to I love that girl. Man, that girl, look at no chin. Man, that is the most beautiful portrait. And I can see that the, wig the on eyes. her, man. She'd be great. <laughs> anyway, uh, that's where my work comes from, is 
is really not having to work. Because you shouldn't have to work. There's enough stuff out there in the world already. All you have to do is <laughs> observe it. Stuff, yeah. Yeah, there's plenty, plenty of, of ideas stuff. and stuff coming at you all the time. You just have to sit there and look at it and say, wow, what is this? And then sort it out and apply it. Okay. How'd we do? Uh, well, brilliant, wonderful, enlightening. Yes. Good. Uh, enjoyed it. Thanks.